Now, you've given me an interesting proposal, and I don't know if the boss is here. Ryan, can you hear me anywhere, wherever you are? He might be busy. We're going to roll this dice. You wanted to start from P12. You wanted to flip the field. You said, I want to run for the prize money. I haven't got the boss with me. I can't decide that for you. We're going to roll this in a moment. You roll a one, you start where you are. We race for normal prize money. You roll a two, three, four, five. You know how it works. Roll a six, we invert the first six rows. Piece of cake, right? I will look the other way. You roll it however you want to roll it, Brad. I'll leave this up to you. Yeah, well, me and JJ agreed, so here we are. So Brad Pascoe is going to roll himself a six. I don't know if the boss just saw that. Ryan, these guys are going to invert the top six rows. Brad, you're going to start from P12 yourself. JJ Hamilton, who finished second that dash, he's going to start alongside you in P11. Two and a half thousand dollars extra prize money if you can get the job done from there. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how we go. Brims, Hamilton and Kane all fighting for the series. If Pasco or Hamilton can win from the sixth row, they'll win an extra two and a half. The ultimate Super Sedan Championship finale is green for 30 laps. And Todd Atkins levels up with Matt Pasco, a former National Junior Sedan Champion, side by side with a four-time Super Sedan Champion. Oh, no. Is that... I think it is. Is that JJ? It's it JJ is. Hamilton. Oh, no. Lead us to green one more time. Atkins dives down at the rear bumper of Pasco. Looks to carry it with him. Working on the outside is Zach Pasco in the six. Brad Pasco on the move on the top side. Works to the outside of Sean Black. And Steve Jordan a little bit further back at this pack. Look at him go. Current Queensland and Tasmanian champion. Full faith in the car. Oh, gets up on the cushion. Nearly jumps over and nearly into the concrete fence. Stays in it. What commitment. What a drive. We're four wide in super sedans. On the high banks, is there a better place for these cars? Look at them go. Still three wide through the pack with Pasco nearly climbing over the top of current Australian champion Darren Kane. Still two wide further back. Hayden Brims getting the better of Sammy Hughes in the four this time. He pulls up alongside Justin Randall, but you battle for the lead. Matt Pasco, Zach Pasco on the outside in the six. Matt and Zach going toe to toe for the race lead. Five laps down now. Matt Pasco still holding down the bottom, but look at Zach go. Doing everything he can on the top side of the challenge, the old fella. Third position. Still Todd Atkins back to Mick Nicole and Hayden Brims. There's still three wide further back in the pack, but Zach Pasco gets in front and takes the lead of this race away for current New South Wales champion. Matt Pasco further back now. In this insane battle pack, Sean Black working the top side. Jared, I don't know where to look. This is intense. It is wild out here at the moment. There are cars all over the racetrack. You don't know what to think. There are cars going left, right and centre trying to make any line work. Oh, we've got cars parked in turns one and two. Ten laps down and we go yellow. And we come in at a snail's pace. We're back to green. Atkins on the top side. That's Todd. And a series leader, Hayden Brims, goes to the inside looking to wrap this thing up. Hughes upstairs, Nicole on the bottom, these Delaware restarts. Ooh, me, oh my, I like them. They keep me very excited in this feature race. Hayden Hughes with Derek Kane all over his rear bumper at the moment. And following him through. Oh, oh no, the series leader. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, wow, that's harsh. So you see it in the bottom of your frame there. In the Dondex replay. Atkins looks as though he's closed the door on Hayden Brims. Hayden Brims probably feels as though he was alongside. And we're going frame by frame right at the bottom of your shot there. What do you do if you have brims? Advantage now goes to JJ Hamilton and Darren Kane. This will be close. Oh. We're yellow because Brad White now facing the concrete. The Supers. Oh, dearie me. 
Chief Steward will run out of patience very quickly. Schultz. Eight to run. They've cut the laps. The Supers are not playing the game. Eight to go. Want to get people home? You're not going to play the game. Go. Let's find out. We're back green. Three wide into turns. One and two for position number two. Kane on the bottom goes to third. That might be enough for the series. Hamilton's oh. done. Brims is done. The two leaders in the series come together on the back straight away. Holy smokes. There is steam coming out of the Ian Botcher Race Parts race control box right now. Here we go. Back to green and it was messy. They all missed the start. It was a DB dog's breakfast of a start. We're green with eight to go. And I'll let you figure out what we're going to do here in the closing laps because I've got no idea, Josh Boyd. Oh, what's next? Seven laps remaining for Super Sedan Racing. This season at High Tech Oil Storm for Speedway, Davrin Kane working alongside of the man out of position number 12, Brad Pasco, is on the move and up onto the podium. Works to the outside of Sammy Hughes. Sam Hughes slides him up the racetrack a little bit. Not going to make it easy for Brad Pasco. Well, by Gets Mike. a fantastic drive out of the turn four. Looks to have the nose in front this time in one and two. Yeah, he's done a good job. He'll get up to third here. By my calculation, Darren Kane is one point clear of Hamilton. Maybe he's now a point on the other side. Hamilton needs to get past these cars in front of him. In this battle for the series, he's dropped another spot. If Kane hangs on to fifth, Hamilton needs to pull it back, grab it out of the hat. In the closing lap to the moment, it's Pasco one, two, and three. Zach leading Matt, while Brad had to restart further back in the field. Oh, drama for Mick Nicola, and the lights come on. Will that that's be all she wrote? That's it. I've seen a hand signal. Feature race declared. It wasn't the greatest of feature races for the Super Sedans. It was a scrappy affair. With plenty of chaos and carnage. And we are going to take a commercial. Come back with your podium presentation. We'll do your series winners at the end of tonight. Well, this is your podium, the ultimate Super Sedan Championship in the books for this season. And your winner, come on to him and make some noise for Zach Pascoe. Come on up here, Zach. Holy. Well, sometimes you get the fortuitous call. Brad rolled a six, new started towards the pointy end, made it work. You got the win tonight. It's a nice second feature race win of the career. This one's a bit closer to home, though. Yeah, I think it was all about the six tonight. <laughs> All about the six tonight. I'll leave that with where that rolls because we rolled a six. The six rolls in victory lane. Impressive job, obviously. And you started in sixth position too. Holy, all sixes lining up. That's impressive. Obviously, you had that feature race win over at Esperance. Now, that's the monkey off the back. You win here with a big field. That's very impressive. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not the way I wanted to win with it being declared because I've seen Brad was coming on. Obviously, you did a nice job to hold on from uh, from Matt, Brad. It was uh, impressive to get get you guys one, two, and three on the podium once again. Yeah, it was good. I'd like to thank uh, everyone that helps out on the car tonight. Um, 